Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ahlan wa sahlan. My name is Jakat Zaman. We are um, currently going through the book Mukhtasar Al Quduri. If you guys are not familiar with my channel, first of all, I have to always say this check out my videos, hit the like button, comment, check out the merch as well. I've also started merch as well. You can check below. And uh, that's it. So let's start today. Now, as you can tell, the lessons are becoming a bit longer, yeah? Now you tell me if the lesson is too long in the comments or you think it's too short or actually don't say it's too short. Just say if it's too long and um, let me know if the pace is good and if the quality is good as well. And if there's anything that you think I should change, you know what to do. Put it in the comments below. All right. So let's get on with this then. So um, we are now looking at this chapter now what i decided today was what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do something a bit different right i am actually gonna first of all start off with questions so you guys have been saying to me start the questions start the questions so i thought to myself you know what i am gonna start the questions but i'm gonna start the questions in a different style okay the question the way i'm gonna start the questions is i am going to be saying the questions first of all and then you guys have to watch the video and then you answer the questions, right? So questions are, what does tarwiha mean? How long are the gaps between every four rakats? What's the ruling of praying taraweeh in congregation? Is it recommended to pray with her in congregation? What is Salat al-Khawf? How does the Imam divide the soldiers? Which group does not recite in their second interval? Can you pray while fighting the enemy? What happens if you can't face the Qibla? All these questions, inshallah, we are going to answer today. Right. So, um, let's have a look at some of the words over here then. All right. So, you got some words over here. You got like Qiyam, which means to stand, standing. Shahar means month. Ramadan is the famous month. Yustahabu, you know that. Yajtami'u, you guys should know that. And... Uh, Tarwihat actually means from Rawaha, which means to rest, relax. Right, so you got Tarwihat, relax, and then you got Taslimatan, Taslim means to give salam, and then two. And then you got Yajlisu, Baina Tarwihat, Miqdar, it means the amount, duration. Um, what else is there? Right, so you got Ghair means other, other than the Shah Ramadan. Khawf means fear. Ishtadda means to become severe, sheen, dal, dal, to become severe, bab, ifti'al. And what else do we have over here? Sheen, dal, dal. Ja'al, imam, ta'ifa means a group, jama'ah, ta'ifa. It's times two. Awaj means, you guys should know that. Adu is enemy. Ta'ifa, khalfahu, khalf. You guys should know what that means. What else is there over here? Madat, mada, yamdi means to go by, to pass. Right, so this is a word that's actually come, I think, a few times before. Ja'at, you should know what that means. Ta'ifa, we've done that already. Al-Imam, raka'atan. I don't know why I'm adding the vowels. Tashahada, ya tashahadu, to do tashahud. Salam, sallama, yusallimu. Okay, ula, wuhdanan, alone. Tashahadu, sallamu, madaw. Ja'at, ta'ifatu, al-ukhra. Right, all these words you guys should know. Right, let's just go down. So I, I did tell you it is going to be a bit long today. Not going to be very long, inshallah. Okay, Muqim, you guys should know that. We've done that just recently. Maghrib, you guys know that. Yuqatiluna, to fight. It doesn't mean to kill, okay. It's from the word qatl, it means to fight. Batalat rukbanan, it means ride, riding, jam of raqib. Yumi'una, you guys know that. Tawajjuh, to face. All right. Let's have a look at a bit of Tarkib now. Some of you guys saying you like the Tarkib. Some of you guys saying I don't need the Tarkib. All right. So, Babu is Mudaf. Qiyam is Mudaf ilayhi and has Hadha. Hadha is the Mutada. All of that is the Khabar. Now, tell me why Ramadan has a single Fatah. Let's see if you guys can tell me why it has a single Fatah. Yustahabu is Fi'l Majhul. An yajtami an nasu. Now all of this sentence from an yajtami an nas, all of this is the naib file of yustahabu. Yustahabu an yajtami an nas fi shahri ramadana ba'da al isha after isha 
فَيُصَلِّي بِهِمْ إِمَامُهُمْ So first of all, you salli. Right now, I just want to point out one thing over here. You know whenever you have the word salla and you have a ba after it, you translate it as leading, okay, to lead. You don't translate it as pray. You say leading them. Yeah, so the imam leads them. Their imam leads them in prayer. خَمْسَ تَرْوِيحَاتْ مُضَافْ مُضَافْ إِلَيْهِ And that becomes the مَفُولْ بِهِ فِي كُلِّ تَرْوِيحَةٍ It's supposed to be a tade. تَرْوِيحَةٍ تَسْلِيمَتَانِ That's the خَبْرْ مُبْتَدَى مُؤَخَّرْ خَبْرْ مُقَدَّمْ يَجْلِسُ بَيْنَ كُلِّ تَرْوِيحَتَيْنِ So مُضَافْ All these مُضَافْ مُضَافْ إِلَيْهِ تَرْوِيحَتَيْنِ is dual by the way if you didn't know that. مِقْدَارَ تَرْوِيحَةٍ مُضَافْ مُضَافْ إِلَيْهِ ثُمَّ يُوتِرُ أَوْ تَرَ يُوتِرُ إِيتَار From باب إفعال وتر واو is مثال So you guys can check out my sub videos I've done مثال The rules for مثال So it's in there وَلَا يُصَلِّي الْوِتْرَ بِجَمَاعَةٍ He does not pray وتر with congregation في غير شهر رمضان Other than the month of رمضان Okay باب صلاة الخوف Right, so هذا again باب صلاة الخوف إذا اشتد الخوف اشتد الفعل خوف is the فعل جعل الناس فعل فعل مفول به first مفول طائفتين second مفول and then this طائفة تن this is actually considered بدل of the طائفتين that's why we give it نصب في وجه العدو now if you guys know what other vowels we can give طائفة تن put it in the comments let's see if you guys are نحو سافي وطائفة خلفه خلفه is ظرف فيصلي بهذه الطائفة أو سوس بطائفة ركعة وسجدتين معطوف معطوف عليه رفع رأسه في الفعل مفعول به الثانية الصفة مضت فعل عن الطائفة plus هذه is the فعل إلى وجه العدو جاءت تلك الطائفة فعل فيصلي بهم الإمام إمام leads them استفائل ركعة is going to be the مفعول به وسجدتين وتشهد وسلم تشهد وسلم تشهد وسلم يسلم ولم يسلم so this is past fail file لم يسلم في الفعل now tell me why the noon has dropped off from يسلم why is it not يسلمون see if you know وَذَهَبُوا إِلَى وَجْهِ الْعَدُوِ Okay, جَاءَتْ الطَّائِفَةُ الْأُولَى سِفَ مَوْصُوف And then it becomes the فَائِلَ of جَاءَتْ فَصَلَّوْ This is صَلَّوْ Can I صَلُّوْ صَلَّوْ وَحْدَانًا is حال رَكَعَةً المفعول به وَسَجْدَتَيْنِ بِغَيْرِ قِرَاءَةٍ وَتَشَهَّدُوا وَسَلَّمُوا وَمَضَوْ إلى وجه العدو وجاءت الطائفة الأخرى فصلوا ركعة وسجدتين بقراءة وتشهدوا وسلموا فإن كان الإمام مقيما so مقيما is the خبر of كان إمام is the اسم صلى بالطائفة الأولى ركعتين مفعول به والثانية ركعتين ويصلي بالطائفة الأولى he leads the first group ركعتين من المغرب في المغرب ومن الث والثانية and with the second group ركعة one ركعة ولا يقاتلون and they do not fight في حال الصلاة جار مجرور مضاف مضاف لي فإن فعلوا ذلك بطلت صلاتهم وإن اشتد الخوف في الفعل وصلوا ركبانا حال وحدانا حال يوميون في الفعل بالركوع والسجود إلى أي جهة شاءوا إذا لم يقدروا على توجه كي بس في جايز نو. okay right let's look at the مسائل now. alright so مسائل so what are the مسائل here so first of all two main topics we're going to discuss one is about the قيام رمضان which is known as تراويح and the second we're talking about a specific type of prayer Known as Salat al Khawf. So, when it comes to the month of Ramadan, so one of the 12 months in the Islamic calendar, or the lunar calendar rather, is Ramadan. Right? And this is a month we all know when it comes, everyone's aware of it. 
Everyone's telling you on social media. Everyone's reminding you about Ramadan. I put in the comments if you are always reminded of Ramadan or you're the one that reminds people. So in this month, there's a special type of prayer that's prayed at night time after Isha. Okay, this prayer is known as a Tarawih prayer. So in the day of Ramadan, we fast. Okay, we fast. And then at night time, so imagine this is like the day. And then at night time, we pray. All right, so we pray a prayer, an optional prayer known as Tarawih. All right. Um, imagine that's nighttime there. Nighttime, the moon, the stars, and someone's praying Tarawi over there. Oh, mashallah, he's got something behind him. Now, this prayer in congregation is actually mustahab. On its own, it's considered to be sunnah mu'akkada, but in congregation, it's actually considered recommended mustahab. Very virtuous to pray in congregation. So that's why Imam Quduri says, Yustahabu, it's mustahab for the people to gather. Right, so when we look at the text, we're gonna look at that. But this is why when we say mustahab, it means congregation is mustahab. The tarawi itself, praying at least on your own, is considered to be sunnah mu'akkada. Okay, and tarawi is not fard, it's not wajib. So this is considered to be 20 rakats, and the 20 rakats are actually broken down into units of two. You pray two, give salam, pray two, give salam, pray two, give. so 10 sets of twos. Right, so you pray ten sets of twos, and these are actually prayed in like the two, two and two are are like coupled together. So when you couple two, two, two rakats together, each of this these couple, right, you call them a tarwiha. Actually, I missed one out. There you go. Right, so so there's ten twos and there's five fours. So four makes up two two couples. Yeah. So each couple, right, each set of twos is called a tarweeha. This is five sets of twos. So therefore there's five tarweehas. And tarawih, when we say tarawi, it's actually saying the plural, the jama of tarweeha. Yeah, so these are known as all of these are known as tarawih. Whereas each unit, each that boxed off unit is called a tarweehatun. Okay, so that's basically that. Right, so Let's have a look. Right now, between it's actually recommended that between every tarwiha, every sort of like block, there's a rest. You take a rest, okay? Um, now, when you're praying, obviously, see there's two rakats. You're going to pray like you normally pray two rakats. Yeah, so the imam, so you're going to stand, ruku, sujood, and then stand, ruku, sujood, and finish off your prayer, give salam. Yeah, and then you're going to get up, do the same. And then you're gonna get up. So you're gonna do this right all together, 20 rakats. You're gonna complete. Now, between every two sets, right? Between every two sets, you you take a rest, right? This rest that you take is something which is like recommended because you want to have a rest. You don't want to kind of exert all yourself and get yourself tired of praying. You don't want to take your time, chill out, take your time. So these areas that I've colored in yellow. These are known as the tarwihas. Right, so you got tarwihas there. Nice, relax. Yeah, you rest. Um, and the duration of these tarwihas is actually recommended or can be the duration of uh, the duration of uh, one like like one whole set, which let's say it takes two rakats, two rakats is one set. The duration it takes to pray four rakats, that's the kind of that's the kind of gap, basically, rest that you have in between. And I know in many of our masjids, we don't do that. Yeah, but this is a classically high wisdom. So they would have like these long rests. So you pray four rakats, and you have this long rest. And then you pray four rakats, and you have this long rest. Right. So the aim is not to exhaust yourself. The aim is to take your time. So let's say 15 minutes it takes to pray four rakats, then give yourself 15 minutes rest after that. Now, obviously, it's going to take a long time then, isn't it? Okay, uh, anyway, so let's look at this then. So he says, وَيُسْتَحَبُّ And it's considered to be mustahab. And يَجْتَمِعَ النَّاسُ That the people gather في شهر رمضان In the month of Ramadan بعد الإشاء After إشاء فَيُصَلِّي بِهِمْ الْإِمَامُ The Imam leads them خمسة ترويحات Five ترويحات I told you a ترويحة is a set of four accounts. في كل ترويحة In every ترويحة There's two salams Meaning 
two rakats, two rakats, and every two rakats has its own set of salams. وَيَجْلِسُ بَيْنَ كُلِّ تَرْوِيحَتَيْنِ And so, okay, the question for you guys, how many salams should there be in the entire 20 rakats? Put in the comments if you know. في, uh, ثم, uh, so, بَيْنَ كُلِّ تَرْوِيحَتَيْنِ And he should sit between every two tarwihas, the duration of uh, one tarwiha. ثُمَّ يُوتِرُ Then he does witr with them, meaning he leads them in witr. So the imam now, what he does is after he prays, he leads them in witr. Now normally, throughout the year, when you pray your witr, you pray on your own. In fact, it's considered to be uh, wrong to pray in congregation outside of Ramadan, according to the Hanafis. So three rakats of witr, the imam leads the people and prays with them. But outside of Ramadan, this should not be done. I should avoid this. So he says the imam leads them in witr. وَلَا يُصَلَّى الْوِتَرْ or لَا يُصَلِّي Witr should not be prayed in congregation في غير شهر رمضان outside of the month of Ramadan. So remember one of those questions. Ah. So now you should be able to answer some of those questions. Some of you might be playing it back, checking out the questions. Okay. So, so witr should not be prayed in congregation في غير شهر رمضان outside of Ramadan. One chapter done. Next chapter. Babu Salat al Khawfi. This is the chapter of the prayer of fear. Now, you might not have heard of this. If you haven't heard of this, put it in the comments as well. Uh, but this is a type of prayer that the Prophet had, legisla had been legislated by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran. If you know the verse of the Quran related to this, put it in the comments as well. Um, so, Babu Salati al Khawfi. So, this is the chapter of Salat al Khawf. Now, imagine there's an enemy here, right? Um, and this enemy basically has uh, is fighting the Muslims. So the Muslims, if they go for prayer, the, Mus the enemy will take advantage and kill them. And if the Muslims fight, they're not going to be able to pray. So what do they do? So the Quran says that you split the people up. Half of them protect the Muslims from the enemy, and the other half go to pray, and then vice versa, they have intervals. So, Babu Salat al Khawfi, this is the chapter of Salat al Khawf. So, in the chapter of Salat al Khawf, let's say the Muslims, let's say the six Muslim soldiers, yeah? How do they pray? So, what's basically going to happen is the Imam, let's say he's going to pray Fajr, right? He's got two rakats, he's going to pray. And he wants to pray with all of them, but they all can't come. So, what the Imam will do is basically tell half of them, right? You guys, you three, come here and stand behind me. And they will stand behind him. And they start the prayer. So these guys pray one rakat with the imam. And the other guys, they go and face the enemy. Right? So they got their weapons facing the enemy. And this other group behind the imam is praying one rakat with the imam. When the imam prays, he's going to obviously stand, do recitation, and then he's going to do ruku, and then he's going to do sajda. Once he's done this, he, he everyone gets up. Imam gets up and stands still. Right? And... He's obviously going to pray the second rakat, but he doesn't. He pauses. Yeah, in the second rakat, before he starts it, he's going to pause. So these guys over here, they haven't prayed yet. But the guys behind the imam have prayed one rakat. So these guys, let's rub them out then. So these guys, one rakat. So that's their one rakat with the imam. Okay, that's their one rakat. They prayed one rakat. Once they prayed one, they kind of save it. They press the save button. And then now these guys take over their positions. They stand over there. And the other guys standing early on, they will come back. So these guys stand against the enemy. And those guys that early on were guarding, they now join the Imam in his second rakat now. Remember, it's his second rakat. Yeah, so it's his second rakat. Uh, they're gonna, the Imam's going to lead them in one rakat. Yeah, pray, pray, lead them in one rakat. Um, and... Then what's going to happen is, after the Imam finishes, that's the first group, that's the second group. Once the Imam finishes, so technically, the second group are missing the first rakat. And the first group are missing the second rakat. So bear with me with this, you need to understand this carefully. So what's going to happen now? So this first group, what's going to happen is, is they're going to come back. Imam's finished, hasn't he? Right, I guess get rid of him. Now, that other group that was there, just behind the Imam now in the second rakat, they're going to come back now, back in their old positions. And the first group, group number one, is going to, they've got one rakat left to do, but the Imam's gone, so they're going to pray on their own now. 
but they're going to pray as though they are still behind the Imam because their ruling is in the ruling of a what we call a lahik. A lahik is someone who was with the Imam from the beginning, but something happened halfway in Salat and then they return back to that Salat again. So they simply just have to make up what they missed and they don't recite. Right, so this group does not recite. They're going to pray one rakat on their own. And this is for them. For them, it's their, it's their second rakat. This is their second rakat. Because they did the first rakat of the imam. So no recitation in this one. No reading. Okay, They do not read because they still imagine themselves as though they're still behind the imam. Right. So this group now, let's say they go. And I switch it over again. They, they, they come over here. Group number, this time group number one is now facing the enemy. Because they finished their prayer. And group two still got one rakat left. But remember, which rakat have they got left? Technically, they've got the first rakat that they missed with the imam. So they are like masbooks. And the ruling of masbooks is that when you come late to prayer and the imam finishes salat, you stand up and then you complete your prayer and you recite as well. So these guys are going to recite. Yeah, they're going to do a recitation. And basically, and that's it. So that's one of the questions that I asked as well. Yeah, so they're going to have recitation in there. So this, this group, that's their one. They pray that first rakat alone, and they pray second. Makes sense? Right, let's go to the text now. He says, Babu Salat al-Khawf. Yidashtadda al khawfu when fear in the scenario of like fighting becomes intense, ja'al al-imamu al-nas, the imam will make the people ta'ifatayni, two groups. Right, this is one group, and that's the other group. Ta'ifatan, one group, he's going to make them face the enemy. Right, and the other group is going to make them pray behind him. But obviously, you know, we, it was the early group. Bihadi ta'ifa rakatan, and then he lead the first group with one rakat, two sajdas. Faida rafa rasahu, when the imam raises his head from the sajda, a thani, a second sajda. The first group madat hadi ta'ifa. The group number one will go and take the take arms. Ila wajhil adu, to the face of the enemy. Waja atilka ta'ifa, and the second group, the other group, will come. For you salli bihim al imam, the imam will lead them rakatan, one rakat and two sajdas. What a shahada, and then he's going to do tashahud and he's going to give salam, but they're not going to give salam. Yeah, so that's done, that's done now. One rakat they've done, one rakat they've done. Imam's going to give salam. Now, this group, group number two, now are going to go back to take their old positions in front of the enemy. Wajaat at the ta'ifatul and the first group is going to come for sallaw wuhdanan, they'll pray on their own. Raka'atan was sajdataini, one rakat and two sajdas, bighayri qira'atin, without any recitation. Watashahadu. Yeah, so alone, remember. They pray alone, no recitation. Wasallamu and give salam. Wa madaw, and then they're going to go to the face of the enemy. Wa ja'at ta'ifatul ukhra, and then the second group is going to come, which is group two. Fasallahu raka'atan, and they're going to pray one rakat, two sajdas, like I've just drawn the image here. Watashahadu, and they're going to do tashahud, tahiyyatu lillahi, and then give salam. And that's it basically. That's what they're going to do. So the entire salat is now complete now. They pray two rakats, they pray two rakats. But this is how the Hanafis say it should be done. Now if you didn't understand that, I would say play it back. Watch it again and again and again until it makes sense. Okay, now what if this is not Fajr Salat? What if this is something like Dhuhr Salat? Yeah, And the Imam is like, let's say he's a resident. It's not a journey, a traveler. فَإِنْ كَانَ الْإِمَامُ مُقِيمًا If the Imam is a resident, and it's Dhuhr Salat or Asr, whatever, صَلَّى بِالطَّائِفَةِ الْأُولَى The Imam will lead the first group in two rakats, and in the second group, with the second group, two rakats. Yeah? And if it's Maghrib, he's got the first group, two rakats, and the second group, one rakat. Yeah? Alright, so, let me just try to quickly show you here. So this is the Imam. With the first group of Zohar, he's going to pray two rakats with them. Then they're going to go. The second group will come. And then he'll lead the second group in the remainder two rakats. And then first group will come back and make up two rakats without recitation. Then they'll go. The second group will come back and re re pray the salat with recitation. And if it's maghrib, obviously three rakats, you can't split equally. So the first group will play two with the imam. Then go. Second group will come back and they'll pray one. And then whatever's left, they'll make up. Okay, in that fashion. Imagine this is Maghrib. Then pray two with them, and then with the second group, only one rakat. 
and then they, they'll have to make up the two rakats on their own. Now, wala yuqatuna, if it's a war and you're literally fighting the enemy, you're not allowed to pray whilst you're fighting because this goes against the whole concept of prayer. So la yuqatiluna, they are not to fight fi hali salati in the in the in the situation of salat, condition of salat. Fa in fa'lu if they attempted this and did this, but salatuhum, the salat would become nullified. Okay, finally. What if the fear is so intense they can't even fight, they have to run, they have to like get on their horses or get in their cars and drive off. In istad al khawfu, if the fear is really intense, the, the soldiers are allowed to pray, sallu rukbanan, riding. Whilst they're riding, they can pray. Wuhdanan, on their own, not in jama'ah. So you don't have like one car ahead and everyone behind and not like that. Everyone prays on their own. No ruku, no sujood. Well, there is ruku and sujood, but it's ishara. Yumi'una bil ruku'i was sujood. They do ishara with ruku and sujood. Ila ayy jihatin, to whichever direction. They don't even have to face the qibla anymore because their lives are more important than facing the qibla. Sha'u idha lam yaqdiru when they cannot face towards the Qibla. And that's it basically. So this is today's lesson. I hope today's lesson makes sense. This is everything that we've covered today. We talked about Shahr Ramadan. We talked about uh, number of rakat, what tarwiha is, the gap in between, the ruling of Witr. We talked about Salat al Khawf and how it's prayed and the two groups that are made. And then can you pray fighting, etc. And that's it. All right, let's finally, let's look at the questions again. Okay, so questions. What does tarwiha mean? You should know that by now. How long are the gaps between every four rakats? You should know that. What's the ruling of praying tar tarawih in congregation? You should know that. Is it recommended to pray with her in congregation? You should know that. What is Salat al-Khawf? How does the Imam divide the soldiers? Which group does not recite in their second interval? Can you pray for, while fighting the enemy? What happens if you can't face the Qibla? So Jazakallah khair guys, I hope you guys benefited from this uh, as much as I have benefited from this. And uh, thank you very much to all my patrons for all your support, kind support, your generosity. Um, you know, without you guys, I don't think I'd be able to make mo most of these videos. You know, SubhanAllah, after the, the Fadl of Allah, you guys are extremely generous and kind to, towards my, me and my channel. If any of you guys want to support my channel, if you guys want to become patrons, if you guys want to make like monthly donations or even one-off donation, please check out the description below. Everything and I appreciate. It helps me a lot being able to produce these videos. And Jazakumullah Khair from wherever you are around the world. Uh, may Allah bless all of you guys and take care. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi.